welcome back to Mac Gaming Revolution. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play the game The Forest in 2025 on your Apple Silicon Mac. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First, in order to run The Forest, you're going to need an application called Crossover. Crossover is a compatibility layer that translates Windows native applications, executables, files, anything of that nature into Mac OS friendly readable versions. So first, to get Crossover, you're going to have to go to codeweavers.com store, which I will have linked in the description. And you can either get a free trial of Crossover or purchase a 12 month or lifetime support license. Now, unfortunately, at the time of making this video, there are no free alternatives to Crossover as Whiskey and Mythic, the two main free uh, open source competitors, have unfortunately now been deprecated. And as a result, Steam support is really spotty and I mean, if you're running something from GOG, then, or, you know, some external source for not, not Steam, <laughs> it should be fine, but through Steam, it's just honestly not going to work. And as far as I'm concerned, the forest only runs through Steam. So as such, you're going to need crossover. So simply obtain crossover and then get it all downloaded and set up. Once you have crossover downloaded, installed, and fully set up, you should be met with a screen something like this, except you probably won't have the bottles on the left side. So first, you're going to want to navigate down to this little install button in the bottom left corner, press that, then look up the forest. It should be this one that pops up, just the forest. Next is super simple, you're going to want to make sure you're installing it into a new bottle titled the forest. If you install it into an old bottle, it can cause some issues. And um, yeah, make sure you're installing it via Steam. As far as I'm concerned, again, I don't think you can actually install it b like by GOG. I think it might only be on Steam. If it is, you just press edit and then install from the the GOG installer files. But since I'm get it, I have it on Steam, I'm just going to do it from Steam. So simply just go up here and press install. Now it's actually going to set up the bottle and install the game into it. You might see some pop-ups for installing fonts such as this one. Simply just press yes through all of them. And you might see a few more, just press yes for all the fonts. Eventually you'll be met with a Steam login startup screen. Once you're met with the Steam setup screen, simply press next. Select the language you want to install Steam in, since obviously I speak English, I'm just gonna do English. And then just press install. This doesn't really uh, do anything. Now, just press finish and make sure run Steam is checked. You will now be prompted to log into Steam. Simply type in your login info or if you have the uh, 2FA Steam Guard app, just sign, scan the QR code. Finally, this pop-up is going to appear saying to install the forest. Simply just press install and make sure these are checked off if you want um, little application icons in crossover just like this. And if it doesn't automatically install, simply navigate to your library locate it in, uh, in your games library, and then just manually install it from here. Once the forest is successfully installed, you're going to want to X out of Steam, navigate to crossover, and then press quit all applications. And then you can do force quit again, just for good measure. Next up, you're going to want to change your graphics and synchronization settings. Set your graphics to D3D Metal, and your synchronization to msync. Press reboot bottle and enable msync. Once these options are selected, simply double click the forest icon. You will then be met with this config menu. If you have a lower end Mac, make sure to lower your graphics a little bit more to medium or low. Even on better ones, I would recommend uh, lowering it just a little bit. And then simply press play. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm gonna leave y'all off with some gameplay with performance stats in the upper right corner via the metal HUD. Let me know in the comments if you have any other videos you want me to make, any other games you want me to try out, things of that nature. And yeah, thanks for supporting the channel. Keep gaming on a Mac.